story. A field of dreams of a different kind. 50 acres donated to the city of Huron could one day house a high school for the community. Now state and local leaders need to find funding for construction. Action News reporter Kate Nemrich has more on the impact building a high school in Huron would have on students there. Parents I spoke with say they want their kids to be involved in extracurricular activities, but the commute to and from Huron to Coalinga daily for school is taking a toll on their students' education and dedication. For high school students in Huron, getting to school each day means at least a 25-minute bus ride. On early dismissal days, that can leave students like Ethan Roman stranded at school with nowhere to go while he waits on after-school activities. Then he has to stay late to get home. And sometimes we would have a volleyball game going on. So a lot of the volleyball girls, they live in Huron. So we would have to wait an extra hour, an extra 30 more minutes, more for the second bus to come because, well, that bus was going to pick us up as well. And then on those days, I would get home probably around 8.30 or 9. Roman says he'd get home at 9 only to have to turn around and get up at 6 for school the next day. His mom worries about both the toll it takes on his health and education and how far away her kids are if there's an emergency. Imagine if my son feels sick, then in less than 10 minutes I have him here and I could go straight to the ER or whatever I need. A high school in Huron would alleviate some of those issues. So state and local leaders are taking the first steps to make that a reality. 50 acres of land were donated to the city of Huron to build a high school. But right now what we need to do is to figure out what can the school district put up, what can the state put up, and from what funds would the money come from, and then how would it be supported? On Friday, State Superintendent of Public Instruction Tony Thurmond and Senator Anna Caballero joined city leaders to voice their support for the project. And I think it's a long-term effort and that can be difficult, um, but I think people can take hope in knowing that this will happen. It will still be years before a high school is built in the city, but Thurman says the school needs to be a priority. State leaders say the next step is for the Office of Public School Construction to visit other schools in the area and determine what state funding is available. In Huron, I'm Kate Nemrich, ABC 30 Action News.